Today we will learn a property of DFT which is named as circular convolution. So let us see what is the statement for circular convolution. Suppose we have a sequence x1 of n which has a DFT x1 of k and another sequence x2 of n which is having DFT x2 of k okay and we have x3 of n is a circular convolution of these two sequences x1 of n there is a symbol for circular convolution this is the symbol so x3 of n is circular convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n Another symbol for circular convolution I will write here is like this x2 of n but most of the time we will use this symbol okay and we have sorry x3 of n which is having dft capital x3 of k okay. So let us see the statement for this property of circular convolution. Okay? If we have circular convolution of two sequences x1 of n and x2 of n, it has a DFT which is multiplication of DFTs of those individual sequences. Means DFT of x1 of n that is x1 of k and dft of x2 of n this is x2 of k so we have multiplication of these two dfts when we have circular convolution in time domain okay so let us see this is the property let us see the definition for the circular convolution x1 of n circularly convolved with x2 of n is equal to let us consider constant variable m here m varying from 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m into x2 of n minus m which is circularly shifted by n samples ends and it is circularly periodic with capital N. So this is similar, this definition is very similar to our regular convolution definition but we have a difference, only the difference is that this shift is a circular shift. We know that uh, when we take DFT we assume that the input sequence is circularly periodic. So this shift is circular. Okay. So let us see uh, the proof for circular convolution. So we want to find out the DFT of circular convolution in time domain. So we want to find out DFT of the sequence x3 of n which is DFT of x1 of n circularly convolved with x2 of n and we can call it x3 of k. Okay. So x3 of k is equal to, we will put it into the definition, n varying from 0 to capital N minus 1, x3 of n, omega n, k n. Okay. So we will put the value of x3 of n here, which is circular convolution of x1 of n and x2 of n kn 
omega n raised to k n. Okay. We'll put the definition of this circular convolution in the next step. So x3 of k is equal to the summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1. Put the definition of circular convolution m varying from 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m into x2 of n minus m which is circularly periodic with period capital N and is factor kn. Okay. Now observe this term. This term is having only m. Okay. So summation is having m x1 of m. So this is independent of the term n. So we can take this term out of this summation. So we can take this term out first. m varying from 0 to n minus 1 x1 of m. Now this summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 x2 of n minus m which is circularly periodic with period capital N omega n raised to kn. So this term is having n, this term is having n. So we can't get this term out. Okay. So we are putting this terms inside the summation. Okay. Now let us see here what is this? This is a definition of DFT. So it is DFT of this term. So this is DFT of x2 of n minus m which is circularly periodic by a period capital M. So this DFT we can find out with the help of circular shifting property because x2 of n shifted with m units here. So, you can apply the property here. So, dft will be equal to x2 of k into the Tweedle factor omega n raised to k into the shift that is equal to m. So, we will put this into this definition. x1 of m into this term x2 of k into mega n k m okay now this term is free from m so we can take this term outside this summation okay so x2 of k into this summation m Varying from 0 to n minus 1, x1 of m into omega n km. Now, this term is DFT of x1 of m. Okay. So, you can write x2 of k into x1 of k. Okay. We can reshuffle this. So, this is equal to x1 of k into x2 of k. So, hence it is proved that this x3 of k means x3 of k is the DFT of x3 of n which is circular convolution of these two sequences. So, we can say that this is multiplication of their individual DFTs. So, individual DFTs multiply in the frequency domain when there is a circular convolution in time domain for x1 of n and x2 of n. Thank you.